are now watching what? Boxing. Let's get it. What's going on, y'all? Well, apparently, I got a lot of people feathers uh, ruffled because I am saying pretty much that I don't believe Errol Spence Jr. beats Canelo Alvarez. Now, of course, I've been saying this before Canelo even fought Dimitri Bevo and lost. I've been saying that. Uh, I've been saying that for quite a while. I've been saying that for quite a while, but. I had somebody on my on on, on uh, my community post. He said, "So what makes you believe that? You know, you just generally speaking that you think that Canelo can beat Errol Spence. Obviously, the guy likes Errol Spence. So I said, well, mainly because you know he's too goddamn small. Now I know a lot of times that doesn't always matter because you got smaller people who could definitely wash bigger people. We know this." But at the same time, you still got to always consider this is boxing and there's, there are weight classes. Because if, think about it, uh, if weight classes really didn't matter, then we wouldn't need weight classes. It will just be like 130 pounders fighting 175 pounders. You'll have heavyweights fighting welterweights. It wouldn't be a need for weight classes if that was the case. And we know... Uh, on the political side, I'm pretty sure that their weight classes for those reasons, for monetary reasons and, you know, other things too. Probably even say and definitely safety reasons. So if there wasn't a need for weight classes, then there weren't there would be no weight classes. Now with the streets, there is no weight classes. So in a street fight, you gonna get hundred and fifty pounders fighting two hundred pounders and vice versa. And absolutely, uh somebody smaller could knock out and beat somebody bigger. But most of the time, it's a hard time. They have a hard time knocking out and, and tossing around somebody 60, 70 pounds bigger than them. I mean, that's just the reality of it. If I'm, 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 200 and, I'm 216 pounds, somebody 150 pounds uh, could definitely knock me out if, if he's skilled enough to do it or he lands the right punch. But even if he lands the right punch, I should be able to absorb that shit, man. You know what I mean? Uh, and me, like, if I don't hit a, a, a 150 pound in the right way, he ain't going. He ain't going to get knocked down. But if I even some, but at the same time, I can swing and punch a, a lighter dude and not even try, and he can probably get knocked out, or I can hurt him or wobble him or something like that. Y'all know what I'm saying. But he must have thought that I was just talking about the weight. And the, the the size, the size and uh, things like that. That was the only reason why I said Errol Spence would lose. And that is not the only reason. There's a few more. And I'm going to touch on that right now. What I think would happen if Errol Spence fought Canelo Alvarez. Now, I'm going to say this again. Just because Canelo lost to Dimitri Bevel does not mean Errol Spence can beat Canelo Alvarez. And that's what this is what those guys, Alphabet Boys and other people, they're going to start pushing that narrative now. And they also are clinging to this narrative that Dimitri Bevo is a bum. They was calling him a Euro bum. And, and they saying this stuff just uh, so it can make it look like Canelo Alvarez was cherry picking or, or whatever the case is. But we ain't going to get into that right now. Why do I think Canelo beats Alvarez? Well, let's just try to see how it would play out. Like picture it in your head. Both of these dudes don't really have no footwork. If you ask me, I would say I would say Errol Spence has has a bit more footwork. Uh, Canelo can't really fight off the back foot. Uh, Errol Spence, I'm not really uh, sure if he's a, such a, a a good back foot fighter himself. You know what I mean? Um, I've seen him fight backwards a little bit, but I'm not talking. He's not a superb. Uh, dude that fights off the back foot either, but Canelo definitely ain't. But, um, excuse me, I'm a little tired. I'm just waking up um, about five minutes ago, man. Got a long day. Um, but I had to get this out because if I didn't get it out now, I was going to forget about it. I was, it was going to, like, I was going to, like, just, I'm like, damn, let me just say this shit, you know, so I could just tell this dude how I'm, you know, why I'm coming out with this feeling. It has nothing to do with just power. 
and size and shit. But uh, both of these dudes to me is basic, man. I think you know Canelo, he's a basic dude. He isn't. He's not a volume puncher. Only only way Errol Spence is a volume puncher is when he got you on the ropes. That's the only time he really throws a lot of punches when you pinned up against the ropes and he's punching up on your body. Have you ever seen Errol Spence really throw combos when you like he's in the middle of the ring? I've uh, uh, rare occasions. Canelo, he relies on that straight right, uh, uh, a hook, he, like one or two shots, heavy shots. You know what I mean? He's not a volume puncher. He, he doesn't have a high punch rate. So defense-wise, Canelo has better defense uh, as far as head movement and stuff like that than Errol Spence. Errol Spence has better in and outside movement because he has the better footwork than Canelo, in my opinion, right? But it's simple how I think it would play out, man. It would play out just like this. Errol's bread and butter is his body attack. That's his bread and butter. If Errol stands in the middle of the ring and try to uh, trade with Canelo, he's not going to win that shit. He's not going to win that. He's going to get hurt. Canelo, uh, he everything Canelo throws is with conviction. He's going to get hurt. Oh, the best the best bet Errol would have to keep Canelo off of him is uh, his jab. He would have to pretty much do what Bevel did. You know, but the problem is, is Errol Spence as strong as Dimitri Bevel? Can his jab, does he have the power to keep Canelo off of him? I don't think he does, bro. That's just my opinion. I just don't think he does. We talking about them fighting at like a lighter weight class. We're not talking about them at 175. We talking about at a lighter class where Canelo uh, is much more efficient at, faster, and, and seems like he has his power doesn't really carry up to 175 like that. But it, it definitely is down there at 168. And remember, Bevel said even at 175, Canelo hits way harder than even a David Benavidez. So you gotta take that into consideration. You know what I mean? But uh. Well, what happened is the only way Errol Spence would even uh, have some have some good success would be if he pinned Canelo against the ropes, bro. That's it. That's how I see that playing out exactly like that. And what's gonna happen is he's gonna uh, he's gonna fall for it. He's gonna get. I think Canelo's gonna psych him out. He's gonna probably psych him out with that laying on the ropes crap like he tried to do with Beaver. He does that in a lot of his fights. Play lay on the ropes. And bait Errol Spence in to his body attack. When Errol start wilding on his body, Canelo's going to counter him. And I think he's going to hit him with something big and knock him out. That's exactly how I see that fight playing out. Now, I could be all the way wrong, but I see it playing out just like that. And then, once he, I, he'll probably knock him out. And then it'll probably end like this. Errol will get up. And then he'll make the count. And then the next round, Errol's still going to be a little off his kilter. Then Canelo will come in and go just go to work on him against the Rose. Pin Errol up there and just probably hurt him to the body and get him out of there. That's how the fight is going to end. That's how I see it. That's what I meant. So I had to just really bring that shit up because the guy was saying it's not about all. Is, you think he's going to beat Errol because he, he has more power? Bro, yeah, that's one of the reasons. It can, it's not even just about the power. It's can Errol's power keep Canelo off of him? I can't see what Errol in the power department, what Errol has for Canelo that Canelo ain't already fucking felt before. He felt Bevel at 175. And Bevel is not really this big, gigantic puncher up there like that, but he's still strong for 175. He felt Triple G's power at 160. He felt... Floyd Mayweather, people don't think he has power, but he has some nice snappy power. He's felt Danny Jacobs' power. So you honestly think Errol Spence is going to... These dudes couldn't even shake uh, uh, Canelo. Even Bevel couldn't even do it. Even though he got he got beat up the whole fight, he still couldn't even hurt Errol. He couldn't even hurt Canelo Alvarez. Like, I'm talking about hurt him, hurt him, to where you saw Canelo about to get out of there. You, you may have seen one time in that fight where... It looked like he was going to stop Canelo, but he didn't do it. Oh, well, if that was Errol, he would do it. Okay, so then you're saying he has the 175 power to do it. That's what you're telling me. I doubt it. Let me know what y'all think. Like, subscribe, and I'm out.